And now it's time for hover bike racing. Indeed. And I think time for our very first guest on the developer commentary going commando. Uh, as no one will be surprised because she keeps butting in, uh, my wife, Mary Stout. Mary, say hi. Hi. That was amazing. Thank you. Hi. Okay, that was much better. Now, now I'm going to hand uh, Mary the controller. Why don't you go ahead and get started? Uh, I'm going to put Tony on my headphones so you can't hear what he's saying. Just so you know, I have not raced since I was a tester. Like, All right. The excuses are so already beginning. Suck. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Just a quick thing, uh, done by Scott. Scott did the gameplay, and uh, I believe Craig did most of these environments. Yes, I believe so. Oh, and uh, here we go. This was another huge undertaking, and we were so dumb. Oh, right to, out the bat, she gets the uh, boost. <laughs> to make so many different gameplay types in this game, I don't know what we were thinking. Yeah, it was a lot of work for us to, uh, uh, to get all this done. Uh, I think that's why Up Your Arsenal had, you know, Up Your Arsenal was the first Ratchet game that didn't have racing. It was the first Ratchet game that didn't, uh, well, not the first one that didn't have space combat, but we took it out. And a lot of that was just so we could focus more on the core game. Yeah, because I mean, these were full featured sort of mini games. It's, yeah, this, it's, this... it's difficult to even think of them as mini games. They were so, there was so much stuff involved in them. Yeah, I mean, there was a, you know, a programmer and an artist fully dedicated to just doing this. Uh, like I think Scott Reeser mm -hmm. was, he did this for the entire project. That yeah. was the only thing he could do. And he, you know, uh, a programmer can do three, four, in Tony's case, maybe 10 levels. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. nice. Wow. Goodness. Now does that say 11th up there at the top? Oh, it does say 11th. Wow, that's a bad place, unless I'm thinking wrong. Hey, don't you talk smack about my lady, Tony. I think 11th <laughs> is bad. I'm just pretty sure 11th is not a good place to be in. You're, you're, you're right, 11th is actually pretty bad. Yeah, it is, it's horrible. Uh, but she's making it up. No, I'm not. She's doing pretty well. No, I'm not. Uh, and if she fails, that'll be even more hilarious. It's you know, gonna be so sad if she I fails. Can't shoot. I'm not gonna say that it, you know, it would make the episode longer and mean we'd have more content, but it'll make the episode longer and we'll have more content. <laughs> you can't shoot? Oh yeah, you don't have weapons yet in this one. Oh. Uh, the weapons don't unlock until later races. Oh! Really? You run into the little beast and you're dead. Yes. Oh, man. This is horrible. Yeah, it's a punishing game, the hover bike race. I'm embarrassed. Oh, it's, it's okay, Mare. It's no, okay. It's you know what, you Honestly, though, again. I don't remember them it's being bad. this hard. So I'm not sure if the 16, game is overtuned or if our player just sucks. It's probably a, a combination of the two. No, I'm thinking it's more that the player sucks. Uh, and, you know, our, our, our user testers had a ton of problems with this. Uh, yeah, well, maybe not a ton of problems. Uh, you probably weren't cruising around in 13th place. Well, a lot of them were. A lot of them <laughs> had to do multiple tries at this in order to get it. Uh, fortunately, there's a ton of rubber banding, which Mary might get the benefit of soon. No. This is like burnout. I like this. It's pretty fast. It is um, pretty fast. I remember we had problems with it at the beginning because it, it didn't feel fast enough. Yeah. And what we ended up doing was bringing the camera really low and uh, uh, upping the field of view a lot so that it, it just looked like the ground oh, was going by gosh. a lot faster. Wow. <laughs> Give it another shot, Mary. Wow. Oh, I feel awful. Yeah, you should feel awful for that particular performance. <laughs> Tony says you should feel awful. Good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we did that. And then also I remember these, these levels, because you're going so fast, these levels were too big to fit in memory. Yeah. So we actually, uh, we scaled everything down to 50% and, uh, uh, and basically, including Ratchet and the hover bike and everything, is actually 50% smaller than it is in the regular game, just so that we could, you know, the, the footprint of the level wouldn't be too much for us to handle. Yeah, because we couldn't really sneak in a loading screen uh, between the hover bike race. And I mean, it's just a, it's such a, the memory was always the enemy and trying to do as much as we could while fitting this in memory. Memory and frame rate on the PlayStation that, 2, yeah. It affected me a lot too when you when you're doing the level. And I think it's something a lot of people won't necessarily consider is that 
when you have to fit a whole nother level in your game, in your well, in the, in your existing level, that cuts back on what you could really do in the main portion of the gameplay section. Oh, you know though, Tony, this in this game we had chunking. Yes, that's right. This was did. the first time we had chunks because we had the arenas, which were a huge thing too. Yes, that's right. Um, and I think it was basically that uh, I forget how it worked. We could you specified a plane and a normal. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm going to be using math terms now for everybody who doesn't want to hear math terms too bad. Yeah, just fast uh, forward through it. You would specify a plane and a normal, and anything that's on that uh, on a so on the side of the plane is separated into a separate chunk, and it would be sort of preloaded but not residing in memory. And then you could just sort of load a chunk, and it would be a much faster load than loading a full level. But you could still keep some things sort of sitting out of memory uh, while you were doing the main gameplay section. Right, and we and use that, that to would... cheat a lot of times to keep things in memory. Right, and it was a rule about Ratchet and Clank that we weren't allowed to have any loading screens. Yes. Um, it was because it was one of the things that the PlayStation 2 was really trying to push was, you know, hey, you know, uh, PlayStation 1 got bashed a lot for having loading screens. So we're, we really want all of our first par party titles to show what's possible without. Right, loading, and it meant you know, like in in Jack and Daxter, they had little airlocks that you had to sit in uh, to load the level. But you know, it never went into a loading screen. And in our case, we did the little tricks with chunks and stuff like that. Man, I am really glad it, I am not playing this because this looks, <laughs> this looks stupid hard. No. Oh, you almost made it! Oh. You, you know what? Try now, Mayor? Up to you. Are you are you know where almost up? doesn't count, no. Mike? In hover bike races. I just think it'd be boring for anyone else to keep watching me play this. <laughs> I think she's a little frustrated, Tony. I'm gonna try now. No, I'm gonna. You didn't get it. I didn't get the boost. No. No. But you know what? Now Mary can make fun of me. In fact, I, no. what I'm gonna do is Mary take the take no. the headset. Oh, okay. So you can hear Tony and I can't. Ha! <laughs> I can hear Tony. He can't. This is sucking a little bit more yeah, than was previously sucking. And I was sucking a lot. Now I I'm uh I'm confused. Maybe you remember what are we? What did we win here? When we, you uh, know I don't even remember what we wow, won that's from great. doing the the race. I just loved it so much. I just kept playing it over and over and was trying to get out of the level. And then when I couldn't get out of the level anymore, I just tried to get the best time. Oh, so you were trying to just break horribly it. break the game? Yeah, Not oh, even just... yeah, totally. I was trying to break it, and then I just... thank you. I, I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> to know that you were trying to make more work for me. Oh, I've got well, I had to break right it in case the users broke it. At least, you know, having a tester break it's better than, you know, end user <sighs> after it's produced. I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> it's, it, it's, uh, this is really probably my worst nightmare because, What's you know what, I see a lot of these things and when you're, when you're in the middle of it and when you're developing it. Yeah. A lot of bugs end up saying just because you run out of time. You're just oh, completely course. out of time. And there's no, you know, there's nothing you can do. Nope. And uh, you oh. go back and you see <laughs> the bugs that are there. Oh, and you're like, oh, that could have been so easy I to fix. Why did, why did I leave mm -hmm. that in the game? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, I'm, I'm pretty much living my worst nightmare just watching these things oh. and thinking, I, if I could go back right now, I could fix all of these in a week. <laughs> I could fix all my bugs. If I had another week, I could oh, fix night. everything. Oh man, I'm gonna die of embarrassment. Mike's if Mike wins, might me. If, if Mike wins on his first try, that will be very. Short I short. know. It's so horrible. Oh no. He's doing pretty good. I but know. But still sixth place. That's not exactly great. But he's oh, got no. three My boosts. My last one was fourth, but his first try, he's at fifth. That I, I, I. Oh. He's got two boosts. I think he might be able to pull this off. Maybe. It's going to be close. Dude. Dude. I'm ashamed. You put in a very shameful performance. Because now as I'm watching again, I'm wa seeing all the places I remember fixing. Rubber banding! Oh, Woo! third place! Really? Yes! Banding? That's oh, good enough for a win, back. right? Third back. place was all we needed to be. Oh, yeah. Ratchet and Clank, you fail enough times and then you fucking win. 
<laughs> I'm annoyed. <laughs> well, I, I would like to say thank you to our special guest, Mary. Mary, thank you very much for coming on the show. Uh, yes, thank you very much. she's going to silently exit. <laughs> okay, she's, she, Mary wanted us to shout out to Kron and Booner. But I, that still didn't count as a win. I think we still have to go again. What? It says win zero. You gotta go oh. again. Oh my god. I, I... I have no words. Tony, hook me up. I can't... You know, you guys are just failing down there. There's nothing I can do about it. I just have to sit here and watch... Hate. Like everybody else, hate. And just watch the failure. Hate. Uh, apparently, third place didn't count, Mary. I should do it for you. It didn't work too well for you the first two times, did it? it just shake your fist at me. Look, you're not involved with this anymore. You take off. <laughs> I don't think your comic antics are really coming in. Are you, you're not going to say anything, Tony? You're just having fun with us yelling at each other? Yeah, I think that makes for an interesting, interesting commentary. <laughs> Domestic dispute? Yeah. I see. Oh, you're doing good now. This time you got it. You got this one, Mike. You got it locked. This one's happening. This is it. This is a victory lap. Well, this is lap two, though. Well, you know what I mean. This is, this is where it's all going to come together. Yeah, it's all about the boost in this game. So I think maybe it is worth time explaining sort of what's going on in your Ashton claim. And uh, there is uh, an act tuning system in place. And an act worked... tuning means uh, dynamic difficulty tuning. And uh, we worked really hard to make sure that everything was always sort of tuned to feel right. And uh, if you fail enough times, we do try to help you out because we don't want players to get stuck and unable to progress in the game. I mean. It, it, you gain nothing by having your players be unable to progress and frustrated. Yeah, it's just, you know, anytime someone wants to put your game down, it's a fail. Yeah, right. but you don't want to, you don't do it in overt, you know, ridiculous ways. Yeah, because and, uh, that doesn't make them feel good either. Right. So, I mean, it's a huge, it's a huge task to figure out a good tuning system that remains hidden in the background, while at the same time, you know, will actually make a significant difference in terms of how they play the game. And in the case of boss battles or races or things, it was a little more uh, opaque you know, yeah. and, and visible than it was in other areas of the game. But it was basically, if you failed a certain number of times, you know, uh, every time you failed it would get easier or, uh, you know, uh, something like that, right? Right. But in the, in the more, uh, yes. There you go. In the more, I think Mary's time was like one out, one minute and 48 seconds too, originally. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, and, and in the actual game, the tuning is a lot more subtle. Right. Uh, I think in this game, if we thought you sucked, uh, we would change change the setups somehow. Like we would, we would either, there would be fewer enemies or, or more enemies if you were doing really well. Right. It was very uh, complicated. Yeah, I mean, the, we take out or add crates depending on how everything was tuned and right it was a complicated system going on yeah it got it got simpler i think as the series went on but the for the playstation 2 ratchets it was a very complicated system and our biggest thing was to try to make sure that it was invisible i told a colleague of mine about the difficulty tuning and he went no it's like hearing santa claus doesn't exist that's right Secrets. Secrets of the video game industry. Don't worry. The boss only yells because he loves us. Yes. Look how cute Clank looks in his little helmet. There's nothing like putting hats on things to make him... Yeah. Oversized hats, undersized hats. It's all good. It's all comedy. 